Yo, what is up, guys? It is God Gaming, and basically today, I am releasing that page client. Um, if you haven't seen that my uh, video, actually go to it right now. On um, rate my GUI from one to ten. Well, that GUI I'm gonna give out to everybody. I'm a, uh, I'm very happy um, with the subscriptions I'm getting. I have 152 at the moment. ATM at the moment, yeah. And this this video right here. I'm getting a lot of likes on it. 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 11. Awesome. So, as a giveaway to you guys, I'm going to give away the the, the page clickable GY thing for you guys. Um, you guys can claim it. That's yours. I don't really care. And yeah. Um, and but there is a problemo. You're going to have to learn how to install packages. So that's what I'm gonna teach you guys today. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a new package. So you're gonna go right click any of the packages, go new, and then new package. Now I'm gonna call, you can call it whatever you want. Like for instance, I'm gonna call it public. All right. So I finish. You know, I made a new package. Awesome. Now what you're going to do is you're going to um, go into this folder, which is. Oh, um. Oh, here you go, right here. This is the package I'm gonna give you guys. You're gonna take all this. You're gonna copy it. Oh, I found so much bug arrows. Alright, copy, right? And you go back into your clips file. Oop, wrong one. Derp. Uh, you're gonna go into, back into your clips file. You're gonna right click on public, and you're gonna paste. Now, once you go into it, you're gonna have some errors. Yeah, I know that. We're going to have some errors. It's life. <laughs> so, you can rename them. You know, um, you just go and right-click it, and then you go into File. All right, so, look, look. To rename the file, if you don't want to say Team Evolution, you can say, make it say whatever. You're going to right-click it. I mean, you're going to click on it, and then go to File, and Rename. Now, you can rename it to whatever you want, but I'm going to leave it at that. Actually, I'm going to call it Public Fars just to show you. Alright, finish. Finish. Alright, now I just called it public VARs. Interesting. Now, if you didn't do that, if you didn't do that, you're gonna have this error right here saying package, like evolution, whatever. You can change it to say public if you're gonna call your package public. Whatever you call your package is gonna go package right here. Okay? Now you're gonna go into this, and you're gonna have one another error right here. And all you do is just change this back into public, or whatever package you called it. I'm gonna call it public. And lucky enough, it um also changes all of the if statements to public vars for you, which is awesome. So if you go to if you go into here again, you're gonna have the same error. Just fix it back and change the package name to whatever you changed it to. And that is it. Um. So now you have no errors. Uh, to install a hack, you're gonna have an error. Like, watch this. I'm gonna go into entity client player mp whatever. I'm gonna do a no swing, just for instance. So if public vars dot no swing is enabled, then and you're gonna look at that like what? Why? Why am I getting this error? What? What's wrong with my G? What? What the heck? That doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to import it. Um, whenever you make a new package, you have to import it. So all you do is just highlight over it, or just click on this red thing, and just import public. And you're gonna get, and this will be not ready anymore. Of course, no swing. I didn't put it inside the package. Uh, it's static boolean, so that's why it's popping up an error. But you won't get that if you put a static boolean. Um, so that's how you install anything that when you use a package. It's a lot neater, it's a lot more organized. You have all your hacks in one file, and it's clickable GUI. If you guys will like that, I hope you guys uh, please like the video if you like what I released today. Um, I, it also comes with custom font, so I'm going to teach you guys how to use that as well. So. If you do not know how to use a clickable GUI, I'm not going to give out a tutorial today. I might later on, but not today. 
might sound weird, but no, I'm not. But um, I'm gonna leave a little, in just little thing, little link in the description to a tutorial. This tutorial, this, this tutorial is by Mr. Mossy PS3. The only reason how I actually figured out how to do this is because of his tutorial. So if you guys want to go check him out, I leave a link in the description to his um, video on on clickable GUIs. He made a wonderful tutorial on it, and I learned a lot from it. And I came up with this all this whole f long code with it, and I'm just going to give it out to you guys.